What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install jailbreak tweaks. So this enables limitless customization of your iOS based device, and this of course is with the Electra jailbreak. Alright, so guys, this is so cool. Before people were saying jailbreaking is dead, but it is clearly not, it is stronger than ever, and some people are into it because it's so so cool, there's limited possibilities of customization. So anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install jailbreak tweaks without the Cydia app. You can still not get Cydia right now. It's very, very simple. It does not require a computer, but it is a few steps. But again, super easy. Now, if you have still yet to jailbreak your iOS-based device with Electra, and by the way, this supports iOS 11 through 11.1.2. So if you are on the right firmware, you could jailbreak. So I'll put my link to my video on how to jailbreak down below the description. And also check the description of that video too, because there's a way to do it now without a computer, which I put the instructions in that video. All right, so enough of me talking. I could go with talking on forever for this after you're jailbroken, that's done. You then need the iZip application for extracting the tweaks and in the files that escaped application for basically applying the tweaks. So as always, all the links will be down below inside the description. So first let's start with iZip. So over here, there's the app store link that will be down below again, and it's going to install it. It's completely free. Once you have that, you will need files that escaped, and you can download this from Tweakbox. And again, this supports iOS 11 through 11.1.2. .1 and once over here to Tweakbox, click on the white X button to get rid of the advertisement. And now from here, pretty simple, go to apps, and then over here, go to Tweakbox apps. And down over here, you'll find files that escaped. Tap on it, hit install, and hit install once more, and then you will have it on your home screen. Now, the first time you go to tap on it to open it up, it might say untrusted enterprise developer. So to fix that, what you want to do is head over to settings, general, profiles, and device management, which will be at the bottom, and just trust the profile that this is in. So pretty simple. Okay, so now we have these two applications. So what you want to do now is install the jailbreak tweak file. So again, everything will be down in the description. I have quite a few tweaks that you guys can install. So I'm going to be installing a tweak called Cylinder, which basically changes the page animation. So every time you swipe over, it's a different animation instead of just sliding over. So anyways, here it is for the download link. And again, you want to open this up inside the Safari app, not YouTube. And once it's open inside the Safari app, here it is. So you're going to hit download wherever that download button is. And I'll bring it right here. Simply tap on open in iZip, that blue link, and it'll bring up this right here. Now, please wait, and this will pop up. Do you want to extract all the files? Hit OK, and it will extract the files right here. And I'm going to hit donut skin, so I don't want that. All right, so this is what we want. And in here, just go and tap on cylinder, and you guys have all the files for cylinder that you need. That part is done. X out of here. And now what we want to do is open up files that escaped. So that blue application. Now I'm going to make this as simple as possible. So first thing you want to do is hit this button on the bottom right. And once open, tap on this button on the very bottom left with the apps icon. And over here, you want to go ahead and open up the iZip application. So it should be somewhere here. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, ba bam there it is. So tap on iZip and over here, tap on documents. And then go to the tweak that you installed. So for me, cylinder. So tap on that blue folder and tap on this right here. Now, again, these are all the files that we need. And we're going to copy them over and put them somewhere else so that it will be installed. So just tap on this button on the bottom right again. And we go back over here. And now what we want to do is tap on this back button until you are all the way back until you can go back no more. So it's just a slash. Okay, so from here, go to bootstrap and then go to library, SB inject. So this is where we're going to be copying over the first set of files. So now let's go back over to iZip over here in files I escaped. And the files we want to transfer over to SB inject are for mobile substrate. So tap on there and go to dynamic libraries. And we want to copy over these two files. Now do them one by one. Otherwise there might be an error and just keeps everything organized. So anyways, first go and tap on edit. Let's tap on the first one. And let's go ahead and hit copy on the bottom left. And now simply tap on this button, go back over here and paste it. So this is SB inject again. So I'm going to paste it and hit paste. And there is a file. Now what you want to do first is tap on this I button. And once over here, you want to scroll down to sticky. And over here, you want to go and change the preference math to back back 07. 77. So that's where we're going to be changing everything to 0777. So let's hit save. And now let's go back. Go hit done. Okay, and on to the next file. So let's go back over here, tap right there, and let's go ahead and select the second file. So again, copy that over, go back to this and paste it over. So paste. And now we can do the same thing. So go tap on the I, go down over here to sticky, and again, 0777. So let's go back, 777, and hit save. And now let's go ahead and go back 
and hit done. Okay, so that part is done. It only had two files, as you can see over here. So that part is done. Now we want to go back over here and now let's go back out of SB Inject. And this part is pretty self-explanatory. So first, let's go to Preference Loader, okay? So now let's go back over here in the iZip and let's go back, back again out of Mobile Substrate. And we want to look for Preference Loader too on this. So Preference Loader and then tap on Preferences and over here, copy over this file. So just like that, copy. And now let's go back over here. And again, this one was in the preference folder. So let's go back to preferences and just paste this over. So paste. And just like that, we now have that. Again, go back to the I, go down to sticky and put that to 0777. Okay, hit save. And now once it's saved, go back again, hit done. This one only had one file. So let's go back and go back again. Now let's go tap on preference bundles. And again, let's go back over here to preference bundles too. So preference bundles and there's a folder here. Now you want to copy over the entire folder. So tap on edit, go ahead and select it, copy, go back. And now it's going to paste it over here. So paste and there you go. Now you guys may be noticing that I have a, another folder. That's for the other tweak I have over here with the Nike that's called Zeppelin. And this new tweak is called Cylinder that we're installing right now. But again, this tweak only had one file there. So again, let's go back and back again. So there you go, that part is done. Preference loader done, preference bundle is done, SP inject done. So now you wanna head over all the way back. So all the way back to the slash. Okay, and this time we're not gonna tap on bootstrap. We're just gonna go straight to library. Make sure it's not bootstrap library, it's just library. And this we're gonna be installing the tweak settings. So anyways, let's go back over here. And this is the last one. So let's go back and there's a cylinder main file. So go and copy that over. So select it, copy, go back over here and just paste it in. And there you go. So again, hit the I, go to sticky and put that to 0777. All right, so there you go. Hit save. And we have basically copied everything over. So there you go. Now you can X out of here. All right, and now here's the fun part. Now make sure you go ahead and close our setting application to restart it. And let's go and open it up now. And let's go and go down. Ba bam! There is cylinder. How cool is that? So let's go and tap on it. I'm gonna go and enable it. So let's make sure. Choose an effect. So I'm gonna do. Let's do the first one. Alternate spin. And oh, okay, I selected two. There's two of them. I'm gonna unselect cube. I only want one animation at a time. So anyways, let's go back. Now you guys can see when I exit out, nothing happens. So what you need to do is respring or reboot your device. So you can simply turn off your device, turn it back on. Or if again, if you jailbroke using Electra, just going to open up Anemone and just go in and preview a theme, I guess, and just hit apply to respring your device. So let's kind of restart it and make the changes take effect. Okay, so we are back in and now take a look at that. Look at our icons, holy crap. They are so, so cool. This goes perfect with the like round icons that I have over here. And wow, <laughs> pretty awesome. I'm gonna deselect this one. Let's say I want the chomp. Oh no, not that one. Checkerboard scatter, that might be cool too. And now you guys see it's still, whoa, hold on. It will work right away. You don't have to respring again or reboot again. Bam. Bam. All right, so again, guys, there are more tweaks that guys can install down below the description. Just go ahead and download the file and apply the same exact steps. Enjoy your tweaks. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace out.